All right, hello everyone. My name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. And we are coming to you live from the top eight of the Coruscant Invitational. This is FFG's first ever premiere event for X-Wing. And now we are in the second edition. If you're just joining us, we've been here all day uh, today and yesterday bringing you six rounds of Swiss. And we'll be with you this round and the next. And I was able to acquire the very exciting prize that we will be giving away during the top four. We definitely have some giveaways for this round as well. So make sure you stick around. Uh, we'll be talking about that in a second. My co-host here will be in uh, in a moment, but I want to talk about some of these lists. So you got on the left, you got Man Kit Lou uh, running Redline. One second. All right, they're calling calling side event time, and they'll be having. Uh, we're gonna be calling the the main time here in a minute. So we're going to be starting at exactly 1 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and set the timer at, uh, that would be, what are we at right now? Four. I set it at 79 minutes. That will get us, whoops. 79. Boom. There we go. So we taking care of that. Boom, boom, boom. It looks like we're going to be set to go here. So, um. Yeah, we have two Punishers on the table here. We're going to get some markers out there because we have a lot of, lot, of, uh, lot of ships here. Not as many as we had earlier today, but um, plenty, plenty. And today I'm co-hosting with... Devin Munkos from the Prototype Toronto League. Absolutely. So uh, before we get too far, Devin, can you please tell our listeners and viewers what is the format of uh, this event? So we are playing in the Coruscant Invitational 2018, and here we are in the top eight, Dion. Oh my god, we are at the eight best players in the world right now, and they are just, we are in a room with a hundred of the best X-Wing players in the world, and we are here. Each one of these people has earned an invite to this invite-only event through being spectacular at X-Wing. Either they went 6-0, and with Ghost Fen and are less than spectacular, or <laughs> they earned their way to the top four of a main hyperspace event, and in doing so, uh, they had to come. They earned the possibility of coming to this tournament. I believe about a third, or or somewhere close to forty-five percent of the players who could have come came. Unfortunately, a lot, m many fewer of the Europeans we're able to make it. It's a big, uh, it's an expensive trip for them. It's, it's it. tough. It's Absolutely tough. Absolutely understand If why. you did win the hyperspace uh, event, you w did get a free invitation, I believe. Or a free, uh, a play, they flew you over. Uh, although that was one of four. Um, so then here we have a imperialist versus an imperialist, a mirror match. Now, the, the twist with this year's Coruscant, every year at Coruscant they do a little twist on the list building, make those those uh, high-level players uh, stretch their list-building muscles. Uh, each year, they you have to fly a certain way. And this year, they decided that there would be mandatory upgrades for each faction. For And there was uh, a Democratic vote. We voted, all voted online on Twitter. And for the Imperial faction, we have Ruthlessness as a free EPT. We're seeing it here on Mankit's list on uh, Major Vermeil, the striker you see there at the top of the board. And in Chris's list, Chris, we've seen, uh, I don't think we've seen Chris either or Mankit, either of these players on stream yet. I'm very excited nope, to see how yeah. they fly. And we have Captain Jonas here um, flying Ruthlessness Barrage Rockets just by his own, by himself, passing out his Jonas rerolls to all of his friends. So I think we've got lots of Punishers, lots of Bombers, lots of really chunky, thick Imperial ships, and... Uh, yeah, so a uh, little bit of background on at least Chris. Chris is considered one of the best players in the North. Yes. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm, I will, I'll give you some energy. There you go. <laughs> so player waiting to play on stream here starting in a minute. It uh, says, Dion, I'm walking over. I'm giving you a prime sub. Love you, man. <laughs> Thank you, Chris hey, Norris. Tim. Tim. Time, time starting right now. And, um, yeah, so what I was saying is 
Uh, Chris Norris is uh, widely considered in the Northwestern United States to be one of the best players that they have. Very successful, has won a lot of events, and uh, I'm excited to see how he puts this whole uh, his list together. He's bringing two Punishers and two Bombers, uh, a type of list that you would never see in first edition. And he's all about You don't play efficiency. in the PTL, that's why. Well, this is not about <laughs> this. this I've seen lists like this all the time. <laughs> sure, you you have, yeah. We got um, a couple players that loved Punishers in 1.0. <laughs> yep. And for, they're doing much better in 2.0 I'm now. sure they are. <laughs> all righty, so. Oh my. Yeah, you can have some. I'm. I really want to see how both these these players go. Um, Chris is uh, especially susceptible to the trajectory simulated proton bombs from Mankit. Mankit having both proton bombs and seismic charges on Redline is extremely good. Gives him lots of tactical and strategic options with that piece. Uh, a blade of plating means he can roll in after his bombs. Mm -hmm. He can trajectory simulate, roll into that bomb, not take damage, leave another bomb behind and get out of there, bring red line back around, shooting proton torpedoes. Heck of a ship. Yeah, um, it's, it's fa absolutely fantastic. And a blade of plating, you can do that twice. It has two charges on it. So it's uh, important to keep track of there. Uh, and I absolutely love it. I love seeing these punishers on the table. I wanted to make sure that we got some uh, for our viewers while we were, while we were, while we were here. So we'll see where the Northwestern, uh, you can see somebody in the chat here, Sozin, that's um, from the Scum and Villainy podcast, a fan of Chris Norris, saying Northwest for the win. So we'll see how things go. And, you know, we've been so busy today that we have not had a chance to uh, put a Twitch poll out there. So it's, it's time. I think it's finally time. We've been so crazy. Let's go ahead and do that. So take a look at the lists. We're going to put on here, um, if you're in Twitch, when I get the poll up there, you will, on your keyboard, hit either one or two, and then click enter. For which person would you like to select as your champion? So we just activated it there. Should be popping up any second now. There it is. So go ahead, choose your champion. One for Mankit, two for Chris. Who do you think is going to take this game? Now, do we know where Mankit's from, Dion? Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to uh, to ask, unfortunately. All right, we're seeing the positioning here. All right, so here comes Whisper. I love the paint job there on Whisper. Absolutely beautiful. Disappearing into the into the uh, into the half space. cloaked whisper, always yeah. a beautiful paint job. So start, wow. starting out, the fan Chris favorite has some fans. is Chris. You know he's he's got more punishers. That's why. The, I mean, double the punishers, double the fans. The hell it works. Now, if Whisper gets caught, she's, it's going to be rough. Yep. Now it's interesting to see we've got we've got Juke Whisper, mm -hmm. and he's decided to load up some expensive upgrades on Redline instead of uh, Crew on Whisper, and that collision detector also a very expensive upgrade. Yes. Um, but it means that she can decloak, move, get options. She can be dash for two rounds. She can just like, disappear. <laughs> I'm dash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, and we do have, instead of having cloak and choke whisper, we've got Vader on Vermeil with triple zero. So Vermeil is going to be able to strip tokens, do damage, cause stress. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a, a very... Uh, Yeah, it's, it's big. It's going to be uh, very stressful. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. Uh, look at that. You can actually see the, the judges have put a top eight, and eight. Top eight ends at 2.15. Our clock is about, about 30. About 30 S wrong. Yeah, Central Standard Time. Um, yeah, thank everybody for joining us. Uh, before we get too far into it, I need to thank everybody who makes Gold Squadron podcast streaming possible. Number one is thank you to our patrons. Go to patreon.com, Gold Squadron slash gold squadron to get awesome swag while supporting our uh, our content you guys are the best lots of giveaways coming this week on the podcast uh, for everybody who made this possible super excited to give away um what we have here in my hands i'm excited dion yeah that's gonna be next round though you've been full of surprises so i did get some clarification uh from judges here that's a trajectory seismic by the way we'll go ahead and 
click that off. All right, what was the... So when you look at the medium base, and I don't have an option here, when you barrel roll... Declip? The midline on the base lines up with the rear... The rear of, of the template. Okay. Or the front of the template. Yeah. That's, it's, it's really it weird. It looks a little off. Yeah. Yeah. Gives you a little bit more options, so it's a little bit of a move. So that seismic charge, seismic charge is going to go ahead and take care of both of those rocks right there. Oh, sorry, we're one of those rocks. I was thinking it could blow up both. Can't do that. Yeah, uh, um, well, he gets to pick. He gets to pick, right? Is this range one, though? Right there? I don't think so. Yeah, so but it's mostly close. that's going to open up a big space. And that's awesome. You know, he has these medium bases down here. Mm -hmm. He wants to just take up space, be oppressive, say, you know what? I'm, I'm flying over here. This is, this is my space. Mm -hmm. I'm now no ablative plating on uh, Chris's ships, but you know they're so uh, chunky that he can he can do it. But also that seismic charge is gonna be the damage isn't yeah. coming from the seismic charge; it's coming from from here. The rock. It's range one from the rock. It's a little bit weird, uh, not weird, different than. 1.0. Now, we do have to make note again that remember the squad totals when you add up on the left and the right are not gonna are gonna look a little bit weird because they have a free uh, ruthless on each side. It will be I think a little less of yeah because it's only what is that one point one point each yeah and we round up now and they're both on odd point ships so yep it just rounds up anyway <laughs> yeah cor correct so oh so I guess we don't have to do any any extra math this game less right? math Dion <laughs> that's that's good. It's good for everybody. No, Leia. Leia is so complicated. Leia and Boba <laughs> Fett. Minus eight points. Minus four points. Oh, man. 50 votes. Fantastic. Chris over Mankit. Both right. these players getting to the top eight. The 1% of the 1% uh, here at Coruscant. Red line. Red line is just a beautiful ship. And what we haven't seen on screen, and what I hope we see, we've got two red lines. Is All right, one. so it looks like uh, red line did bump there. I want to see Dion medium ship barrel roll with red line into a target lock. That's, that's is that I, the dream? I just want it. You just I, want, see, I, want, I just want to see it. see it so I can see it. Yeah, fair. Oh, I like how I left all the markers behind. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> the, all the markers are tired. They're they are. Exhausted they they from did. Our first, round our first round match was ridiculous. Our it's not you. It's the markers are tired. That's right. Our threes upside down. What is what is this? There we go. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off the Twitch poll because we're about to engage. We're super close. Unless, did, did we not? Nope. No engagement. I don't, don't forget to let the bomb go off. Kaboom. This is very interesting. In fact, that they... So, when I see players both set up to joust, which... No matter if you... No, I just I want to address one thing. This marker right here is an official FFG seismic charge. Isn't that one? Yes, I have those from right. Wave 3. That's very... It was early on. That's what we go asking. So, that is an official FFG acrylic. Everything here is official FFG. And... This is... When I see both players set up to joust, yep. like, uh, that... Bombs gone. Uh, rocks gone. Rocks gone. Usually that tells me one person is wrong, but also both of them are very confident in their lists and the amount of damage that they can put out. Yeah, this is gonna. I think it was, this is gonna be fast and bloody. Honestly, the last one was pretty fast and bloody too. All right, so until it wasn't. <laughs> All and right. Certainly this one. So we're ending here with 65% possible advantage to Chris according to our poll. Thank you everybody who participated there. Um, for giveaways, uh, mods, if you guys can help me out, I'm looking for, I'm looking for, we're, we're going to up the ante now, okay? We're going to up the ante. Let's go, uh, let's go 10 more Twitch Prime subscriptions, 10 more for 10 more sets of cards, 10 for 10, 10 more subs, 10 more cards. Mods, if you guys can uh, help me out with that.
Oh, right. Dion, I'm in heaven. I'm watching. This is fantastic. Two great imperialists beat on each other. I get to sit here. My buddy Kelvin's playing right here in the top eight, and uh, I get to watch his game too. If I'm ever quiet, it's because I'm peeking over. <laughs> watching Kelvin play Thomas Forrester. Zombie Squadron. He's the back of his shirt tells me. What does and it say? Oh, it says Zombie, Zombie Squadron. Squadron. Yeah, sorry. You gotta show out the jerseys of the guy where guys wear the jerseys. Yeah, absolutely. <sighs> so probably some proton bombs coming here from. Uh, well, I'm gonna. Can I draw on the map? Uh, we are drawing ready. Okay, so red line has proton bombs, right? Uh, because I was gonna say he could seismic this this one here, but he can't because he doesn't have those bombs. So, but we may he may we may see a proton bomb here and a proton bomb here. Right, trajectory simulator with the uh, with the bombers coming in here and engaging on this line, right? Yep. Vermeil's going to come in, and uh, where he picks to go is going to be very interesting. Where Vermeil and who he attacks, so he ha he's going to force someone to spend. He's probably going to uh, target Jonas, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to try and take Vader. Yep. Point him at Jonas. Yep. Try and get rid of that focus, or force Jonas to take a damage to keep that focus. And he's got triple zero. He's going to want to get in you there give, to range You give the one. choice. Yeah, you give him the choice. Are you huh. going to give me the calculate or are you going to take the stress? It's a right. very good control piece. And it's, it's really a tough choice depending on what kind of list you're running. Mm -hmm. This is great positioning for Mankit, bringing in the striker, the, the, the Reaper, sorry. And it can move very fast. Remember, it can boost. And then he'll get in here and he'll be maybe here, maybe here, right? And he can jam up those bombers, and that's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to prevent that 5k down the road. He's using triple zero to prevent that 5k. We're giving him more mods on defense, right? Certainly, it's a very good positioning of that Reaper. And we're going to see here probably another trajectory simulator bomb. Yep. Whether that's going to be a seismic or a proton bomb, I'm not sure. He, yeah, he has them both. Well, probably not, um, probably not a seismic because... The range one comes from the rock, and most likely, uh, if especially if red line goes slow, probably going to end up somewhere here with the one bank, and uh, death rain, you know, would be safe in the front. So all right, here we go. Here's the first bomb being launched. This is out of death rain, and it is another seismic charge. So we'll go ahead and click that. Um, that charge there, uh, sorry, Death Rain, and he's completely out of seismic charges. Seismic charges gone on Death Rain. Very interesting. I expected many more bombs this system phase, and we're not seeing any. Well, that's the first one that just gets to choose. Yeah. So it's uh, Chuck. I, I almost called him Chuck Norris. Chris Norris. Chris. <laughs> I did that when I, I had him on stream when I was in Chuck, Portland. I did Chuck, it too. Chuck, sorry Chuck. about that, Chris. Uh, Chris is making his decision now. Oh, man. And so Redline performed... There's uh, Mankit making his decision. He's choosing to toss that out. Uh, that's a thermal detonator acrylic, but it probably, by the looks of it, probably going to be the proton bomb mm -hmm. proxy, uh, essentially. Yeah. Here's the decloak from Whisper going out wide. We're probably going to see a hard turn here. She's Classic good. candy cane move. Um, I I don't know. Or, about or she turn. could run up the board. That's I think the, the also, two different. Also, we have to remember, Dion. The Whispers have the one bank now. Oh, they do. I I like the one bank. That's I take everything move. back. One bank. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? You're like, oh wait, yeah. Oh, oh, ooh, you mm -hmm. get all shivery. That's right. All right. Now the bombers are, are bailing a little bit. That's great. That's good what we want to see. Look, you knew that those proton bombs were coming. Here's a barrel roll. So by this positioning, it looks like maybe he's going to be trying to chase down Whisper. What do you think? I think that that is uh, definitely what he needs to do. You know, Ponders and some bombers can, can chunk at each other. Yep. They bounce around. With the, you know, the Reaper is functionally similar in that respect to like a medium base bouncing around. Whisper is going to be able to cloak, decloak, get out of there, and uh, just... Oh, interesting. He did end up 
going north of, with that barrel roll and that, that three bank mm -hmm. hugging around that rock. I'm definitely interested, in, interested to see where Major Vermeil is going to be and how he will operate. Right. Right. Death Rain pushing forward up the field to straight. Maybe we see a boost here. No, just dropping the focus. Accepting the bomb. He's got shields. It's only going to be a shield. Yeah. Did Vermeil... Oh, they've put the... Oh, that's that's rather clever. Just putting the just seismic put it, charge. Put it on the bomb. You know exactly where it's going to. They had yeah. no other no other target, so there's no trickery there. Yeah, absolutely. And this game I, is fantastic here, Dion. I'm just... I'm waiting. Waiting for Vermeil. Has he already moved? Did he stop? No, he hasn't moved. Uh, no, the dial no, has not no. been flipped yet. No, we've done Death Rain. Yeah. It's at him right now. So we're going to do... Here we go, Vermeil. Um, adaptive ailerons required. And does it collide with the rock? It looks like it does clip. Ooh. Looks like it does clip. It's going to be a roll. Now, has no FFG... They have, they have clarified it. This was in the um, OP... Um, what you call it? What is that thing called? The, the forum that they made. It's right. like a FAQ forum, mm -hmm. and uh, they said if you go over a rock with ailerons, you still get your action. Oh, great. But he bumped. But he bumped. So in, in the end, still no action. Still no actions. And man, he will, however, get triple zero. Oh, oh, yeah. Darth Vader triple zero. I mean, his goal was just to be up in his face, right? He, I don't think he was worried about uh, actions here. And, and see, I'm not sure. Red line going uh, one banking in. So here for Meal, he did uh, a, a one forward then a bank move. If he'd gone to the right of the board and then in, he would have run into Reimer and then pr been able to put Reimer in his arc and strip it. Right? Oh my gosh. There's so many punishers on the board, Dion. Yeah, there's there's tons. I'm double quadruple checking make sure we have all these numbers right. Cuz they're also all Solid the same plan. color. They're all this kind of this imperial blue, gray blue, so I'm just trying to make sure uh. is this one actually this? <laughs> oh my god. You need like uh right, There's the one bank. There's you, just, you need to get the custom bases for the stream. Have one guy with a yellow and one guy with like blue yeah. or something. I just don't like pl I don't like touching people's other people's toys. That, that's, but I like when people do that. Actually, it's, it's quite solid when you when you have that option available. I mean, we don't do it on the PTL, so what can I say? There you go. This is. Uh, Wait, just want to remind you guys, we are seven subs away from our giveaways. Ten sets of cards for ten subs. We need seven more, and one added here. One added here. We have a T65 large scale damage deck to give away and we're going to be giving that away to a very special uh, set of people uh, and that is from now uh, up until sorry we're, we're measuring some bombs here now this would be a proton bomb proton bomb for meal and both of chris's punishers No, I had it right the first time. Death Rain is up here. I've missed what you're doing. It's up here. Sorry, guys. I'm letting you handle the numbers, Dion. There we go. I'll just tell you if they fall behind. Uh, nope, nope. Three and four. Done. Da ha. Got it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alrighty. So now that we have that fixed, I think. Yeah, Jonas, boom, boom, boom. Uh, what I was saying is, um, for this round and for today, anybody who becomes a patron, that's patreon.com slash gold squadron, will be entered into a raffle for the T65 damage deck. Um, do resubs yeah. count? Absolutely, they do. Oh, there you go. Yep. So unsub and resub? No. <laughs> no? Well, that's not for the damage deck. Damage uh, deck is for Patreon. Ooh. Yeah, for, for patrons. I know that there's a lot of people who di didn't get their hands on those. I want to give... Uh, 
our, our patrons that exclusive chance to get those. And, uh, yeah, super excited. Super excited about that. Very exciting things are happening here. We do have... So the bomb went off. We got all the damage on 2-1-1? Uh, one, one. Yep, 2-1-1. One, one. And did, uh, did, one, did Redline use her a blade of plating? That would have been her own bomb. Redline has two shields on it. On the left. No, did not. With the proton bombs, it's probably just better wait to wait till you uh, are into the hole. Mm -hmm. So uh, not the time yet. So Redline did lose a shield there. All right. So Excellent. here's our first attack. Two hits at range one. Target lock. This is Vermeil into red line. Uh, so that's four hits. Uh, no, he's not spending no focus. Well, he said this was uh, into Vermeil. All right. Yeah. <coughs> spending it. Three hits and a crit. Rolls an evade. Uh, no evade, excuse me. So, sorry, this is red line into red line. Loose stabilizer is the crit. Get those shields, boom. Get the loose stabilizer on there. Fantastic. Shield was from Vader, sorry, not from the uh, the bomb. All right, she would have had so to spend the green token. Range one back to trade some shots. Only one spending the target lock. Spends a focus only for three, two hits and a crit. And the response is no evading. So it's going to be shields and also a crit on Chris's side. That's council fire into his red line. Wow. You said this would be fast. Yeah, we're, we're, we're duking it out, duking it out. The red lines are now whisper. That's an obstructed shot. Hit crit. Waiting. Debating whether to spend the focus. Does it. Two Absolutely. hits and a crit. I mean, you got to. Gets an evade. Oh, no. Nope. Does he? Juke. Oh, he juked it. There you go. Stunned pilot. And so Stunned Pilot is now, I believe, if you want to check your damage deck, only obstacles. Oh, one second. So that's hit, hit, crit, and let's stunned, pull two you hits and a crit. through or overlapped an obstacle. Stunned Pilot is now only obstacles. Two hits, crit, damage, engine. Oh, my God. We're just trading crits all over the place. This These two games have been corkers. Do you own? They're just go, 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 go. Death Rain, this range, guy's play super fast. Looks, looks like range two, into Whisper. Oh, range two one, and a range crit. one. Boom. Another, pro, that's a Proton, that's a Proton Torpedo. Two hits, two crits. Oh. Spenzi Evade, taking two crits into Whisper. Uh, two shields, shields down. Shields. I don't think we're gonna have any, any time to chit chat during dice here. <laughs> These guys are moving super fast. Oh, my God. Are they ever, Dion? All right, let's just double check. We can. We have a pretty good view of all the cards here. So two shields down on on uh, on Whisper. She's going to go ahead and slide her up in our overlay to match his uh, his setup. Then he has his Vermeil. Let's go ahead and slide that up. Move the marker. Vermeil has one shield on it. Yeah. So that's good. Wow. And one, two, three. Uh, yep, yep. That looks right. All right. Now Whisper on, shot at on the right. Red line. I just need to just double checking some health. Up on the top is the scimitar. Oh, some stuff got moved around here. Okay, so uh, I need to address what just happened, Dion. Go for it. So. Um, Mankit forgot that when Whisper hits, uh, he gets an evade, mm -hmm. uh, and that is a must. And so they called the judges over, and uh, an evade has been assigned to Whisper. Um, so that he can use it for... Uh, I don't know if he will use it, but he will definitely be able to cloak. To cloak, yeah. Two hit, 
Three hits and a crit. Did also, red line. Oh, red line's gone. Oh, my goodness. Wow. These super, super lists. Wrong side. The ability is a, is a must. They caught it in time. Um, that's why calling a judge sooner rather than later is, uh, is better. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like the players are discussing I did something. not expect. The target lock. Red line is gone. I like the golden dice that uh, Chris uses for... Well, for his shields. You've got the, a couple the, locals so, that do that, too. Oh, he has golden dice for charges and silver for shields. Oh, is, is that, that what, how he's is doing Is that it? what he's doing? Let me, no, no. He's got a regular shield. I guess he has some silver dice, too. It's, it's silver and gold. Silver for his charges. Yeah. So you just There's so many charges going on. Well, and when... I mean, you got five for the... Barrage rockets, all kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness. I want to say thank you to everybody who's joining us today. We got 685 people watching right now. And we, I think we're five or six subs away from unlocking a 10 card giveaway. Ten card giveaway is going to be exciting, Dion. I love, I love giveaways. That's a lot of giveaways. That's a lot of giveaways. That's a lot of giveaways. Man, I don't even think I can predict. My brain's starting to melt. Whispers, <laughs> whispers, going to get to be squirrely, but I actually, you know what? I can. I'm going to start. I'm going to start making making up some nonsense. Go for it. How about Vermeil doing a a loop? He's going to do a sloop. A sloop. He's going to sloop. Thank you to Alexander Mogensen for becoming uh, our next patron. And we've got that. Now, four is kind of sort of in the way, but we've got a double stress there on the, on the scimitar. I'm surprised he didn't stress Jonas. I want to remind you guys that we do stream to both YouTube and Twitch. We're on both. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, Chris, looking at his dial, trying to decide what he wants to do here. I mean, losing, losing such a big piece like Redline, that's 61 points. Especially, especially before she could get off a lot of those. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, she, she has so missions. much. She used one charge mm -hmm. of bombs and a torpedo. And you could definitely really have, he could have used her ability this turn to sort of bully the positioning of Whisper with the, with yeah. the tractor simulator proton bomb. Because Whisper without shields does not like no. those proton bombs. No, nope, but Death Rain, Death Rain still has some toys for sure. I guess the other thing we have to keep up is with the, some charges here, because um, a lot of a lot of stuff got thrown there. Yeah. So this is. Sorry, Devin. No, you uh, do the inspect. So Death Rain has. Now, for those at home, Death Rain is a fantastic ship. One charge, one, one, on everything except for proton bombs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we just get, like, help with the charges? The charges on everything? Yeah. yeah. For both points. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Somebody saw me picking up the screen and putting <laughs> it up to my face. Do you, do you guys need some help? <laughs> Yeah, if, if I could, I'd bring just like a giant, like 60-inch, you know, screen that we can just sit in front of and bask. Well, in we glory. need cameras on their faces, and we need cameras on their soon. cars. Soon, soon. Yeah, you just you're just gonna have like a setup of like five cameras pointed at each uh, player. A, a moving stadium is yeah. the plan. Right. Yeah. Looks like uh, yeah, 
This is that's not intrusive to the game at all. No, not at all. Not at all. It's fine. So I want to remind you guys of our giveaways as we are waiting here. That we're giving away a T65 damage deck to anybody who becomes a, uh, or enter you in a raffle. Let me edit myself there. They still have charges on uh, everything. Nothing's emptied out yet. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, okay. Yeah. I was just going to ask what they, what they were spent. Um, but dip, 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 dip. No, so sorry. I think it'll be interesting to see where the, it's going to be very important where the Reaper ends up and how it, and the Reaper is uh, one blue, right? No. I moved it around a little bit. Oh, Vermeil no longer there. no longer has a no marker for Vermeil. No, no need for Vermeil. Okay. And the the one red one is is dead. He's, he's gone. Rest in peace. Pour one out for your homies. You're gone. <laughs> Somebody in the chat. Step away for a second, and a whole Punisher is gone. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, these. I mean, they hit so hard. Both of these lists, they have such good uh, dice modifications and everything. It just, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. And it did look like Chris did decide to take the stress instead of assign, uh, give the calculate to Vermeil. So you got a double stressed um, scimitar bomber there. Oh man. Definitely, I think Mankit has, he was not the, the crowd favorite, but certainly he has come into an early lead here uh, in our uh, top eight match. Setting up for the block there, so he'll block the Reaper's aileron boost, unless he, he banks away. All right, here we go. Did Whisper not decloak? Chose not to. Chose not to decloak. Or, or missed it. We don't know. I mean, that's not a bad decision. No, and, that, and that's that's the something that a lot of newer players, when they first get a Phantom, they think they have to decloak every time. You don't. You don't. Sometimes no. it's the right choice to keep those four dice, try to find a, another way around uh, the issue that's in front of you. <laughs> and uh, Especially and in 2.0, where you don't cloak immediately after shooting. Oh, that's you even, wait yeah, till the even end more phase, important. Right? So he'll be able to get out there and uh, get around and uh, it's also unexpected, right? Yeah. Your, your opponent plans on you for decloaking and then you don't. There's the bump we said was coming. Right. Oh, no, Free bank. sorry. He's just getting over. So that's Captain Jonas. Mm-hmm. Vermeil still doesn't want to go far from Jonas. I think you still want to shut down. Mm-hmm. Still, still has jam. Mm-hmm. He does still have jam. Mm-hmm. Jonas is focusing for those barrage rockets. So they're checking charges, double checking charges. He's, they're having him switch out, switch out the dice for uh, actual charges. Uh, the judges are doing that right now. Yep. Okay. So the judge d d determined that dice were not allowed, so swapped it out. All right. And uh, is he going to fit? Make it is going to try and not bump here, even though that wouldn't have... Uh, 
cost him his O. Oh. Okay. Yeah. One bank. He's going for the... Uh, Did it fit? Got it. Yeah. He's in jam range if he wants to do it. Well, he still gets to maneuver. Oh, sorry, yeah, the ailerons. Jam is range one in 2.0. Oh, there's the sloop that I thought was coming. Uh, amazing, 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 amazing. Good. He has that arc on target. So whether or not, I think the issue is more going to be if um, Jonas is in range two. Yeah. So it looks tight. I think it's range three, but mm -hmm. he was definitely trying to keep Jonas in range one, try and strip that focus, make Absolutely. force Jonas to take a damage. We need three more. Not bad, Azucar. Not bad. Let's get those three more Twitch Prime subscriptions to unlock a 10 set of cards giveaway. Also, remember, anybody who is a patron, who becomes a patron, will be entered in a drawing for a T65 damage deck. We have a pretty big raffle coming in the top four. That's going to be... Surprises. Um, we got some surprises for you. Lots of surprises. Something you probably don't think can't. It, it's unexpected, I you think. You already spoiled it. Did I? 1.0 TIE Fighter. Def I <laughs> got him. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> the Whisper's still cloaked there. Ooh, sorry about that. But, ah, grabbing the oh, How dare you? That too just keeps exploding. All right, here we go. Vermeil. Shooting into the scimitar. You know, naked dice on naked dice. Range two. You just got to push damage into those thick bombers. Yeah, there we go. Vermeil, range two into the bomber. Three dice, unmodded. One hit. He can change one using Vermeil's ability. Ruthless. Oh, ruthless. Oh. Wait, what? No, oh, yeah, you're Vermeil's right. Vermeil's ability, right? ability. Took, took one on the scimitar. Took two, excuse me. And I think that was the only shot we had. Had that round because those, that Punisher over there, yep, belongs to Chris as well. I <laughs> Isaac Carr. Mm -hmm. Trolling a little bit. I hear the special prizes. Dion will come to your store and stream an event. I, I did, believe him. I didn't agree. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> I think you did, Dion. <laughs> there may or may not be something like that going on here in the next couple weeks. Stay tuned to Gold Squadron Podcast uh, for that. One thing we did do this weekend is we exceeded our goal for patrons. Um, we had set a 400, uh, 400 patron goal, and we we crushed it. Oh, Absolutely man. crushed it. We blew past it. And um, the reward, the Patreon reward, is that I'm going to fly to. Fly. I'm going to fly across the sea, not under the sea, but over the sea. Won't your arms get tired? I, I'm, I'm strong. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. All right. You look pretty strong. Dude. And um, I wouldn't mess with you. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go overseas and stream an X-wing event. We'll figure out how we're gonna choose that. Uh, probably next week. But super excited. Uh, one thing, uh, you'll notice that Darth Vader wasn't triggered that turn, maybe just keeping that for the he modification. Was, he, he wasn't at range two. I don't think I, did, I don't think they checked it. I think they just were able to see well, that he Jonas wasn't at two. But he could have done to the scimitar. The scimitar didn't have tokens. Oh, he could have damaged the. Oh, you have to spend the. Uh, you have to spend the force. Spend the force. Yeah. So maybe he just wanted the. Uh, Listen, we're all tired. Yeah. Yeah, well, we got it in chat. Come to the Australian Nationals in November. Yeah. What do you, what do you guys? What do you, where do you guys want me to go? What are some ideas? I know there's some big events coming up. Lots Europe's got some big events. Yeah. The system opens in Birmingham or. Huge. Oh, he did. He, okay, he Huge. he did Vader the the scimitar. Sorry about that. All right, so are we are we on the right number of damage cards on the scimitar then? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why he had two damage cards. Makes sense. Confirmed. Just watching the guys at the table. 
422. I think we just went plus one there. Boom. Matt Gonclavis. He is in the lone running for the T65 damage deck right now. Ooh. All right. So what, what decision is Chris contemplating right here? It's not for Meal. Oh, it's Jonas and the Scimitar. He's changing his mind. He's thinking about it. It's a tough round. He's got to get things back in. He's been pretty much surrounded here by... Um, by Mankit. Um, we're looking at Redline here with Trajectory Simulator, with Proton Bombs, with Seismic Charges. I think they've only used one of each. Mankit's used one of each. I think you can see there he's got charges on all his munitions. Yeah. Certainly if Chris goes upboard with his bombers, um, I'm imagining during the system phase, uh, Mankit's going to be leaving a little smelly surprise out of the back of Redline. <laughs> There's no reason not to. All right, here we go. Here's Proton Bomb. Here's Death Rain. From Death Rain. Now, Death Rain can perform an action after she drops a bomb, yep. which will, was how he was boosting at the beginning of the game. Boost a barrel roll. He's going to focus, it looks like. The, uh, the chat suggesting that the special prize is going to be uh, Dion Azimer. I don't even know what that, what does that mean? That's you talking real intimately into a microphone. <laughs> no whisper, decloaking. Decloaking forward, trying we to get, get some uh, space up the board. I don't know if I like that proton bomb there from uh, from Chris from uh, from Death Rain. Maybe it was just a threat to keep Whisper away. If you can isolate um, Major Vermeil mm -hmm. here, get it off the board, and you can end up having a, uh, a three on one with uh, with Whisper. That could be good. Or on to Redline, just trying to take take something out. Sounds Whisper, like a good Whisper, time. Whisper being the highest initiative here, or in the highest initiative bracket of these fives, so Chris lost his red line, so the yeah. highest compared to Chris. Yeah. Um, could just re really wreak some havoc. Now, so that for Meal here, um, cannot aileron. We'll probably doing a green move like a one forward, in which we'll probably see a stripping and an attacking on, on Jonas. I think we've got um, a couple of ships coming in here now. Uh, this, is certainly gonna, this, this round is certainly going to be interesting. In, uh, boost action being attempted here. Boosty boost Got from, it. from Death Rain. The boost in the barrel roll on the Punishers is just so killer. Good. So good. Target lock. Target lock using the uh, 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 link action there to took a stress. Just the one forward here. So no alien rounds when you're stressed, so just the one forward. Chris breaking chips. <laughs> 30 minutes left. I know I know Whisper isn't at half. Mank it's preserving MOV. He's, yep. he's but I you really need Whisper in there shooting stuff. Yeah. But I mean she, she would have ate two bombs if she would have came in. I mean, you're not wrong. Yes. You're not wrong, Dion. <laughs> right. The and the sad 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 <laughs> whisper. <laughs> So, okay. Mankit taking the uh, Interesting. conservative the approach. Yeah. So, he's pulling his red line to the right side. He knows probably he's up on points. Probably if a gets, boost. If he loses half on Vermeil, it's not the end of the world. Um, because he's going to kill or damage some of those bombers. Well, it would matter if he, if he loses Vermeil. I don't think he's going to lose Vermeil. Not this turn, but possibly next turn. If these, if these two ships are still disengaged... I guess he does have he does have alien rounds though, right? The, the, he's, yeah, he's got alien rounds. He can be gone. The scimitar. He's he's not lined up correctly with, um, Mank. With uh with Chris's death rain, right? Mm -hmm. So if you think about where death rain can put bombs next round. Yep. Um, Vermeil is probably not. Good. It's either beside Vermeil now, or behind death rain. So if Vermeil goes up into the middle of the board, you're gonna see a very easy. So checking range from Death Rain to Red Line. Mm, for a target. target lock. So didn't reach, no reach there. Well, Taking no, the uh, red, red Line took a, 
Yeah. On the good. cemetery, yep. Hard turn from Whisper. Yep. Waiting one turn. So I'm Bide my time. Coming. Bide my time. Wait for those bombs to I go mean, off. Four can't. Uh, Scimitar four cannot. Um, uh, K turn is the word I'm looking for. The D on this is this, yeah. is this is game nine for us casting. Yeah. That's a that's twelve hours of casting. Yeah, or absolutely. Some nonsense like that. So we're looking at probably a K turn from Jonas, but um, I'm. The, the repositions real rough right here. Like he's got the the flank there. Nobody gets hit by the bombs. For meal. No one gets hit by the bombs. Well, there's 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 something in the space. There's ether. <laughs> All right. So whisper, no shot. Let's get some uh, some dice rolling here. So this is going to be Chris's death rain. I think this is the triple zero trigger right here. Mm-hmm. Who's he gonna try? Man, I I, I do Jonas 100. percent Yeah, you gotta do Jonas. He's gonna take the stress. Okay. He wants to focus. The focus is on. Uh, so now Vader, right? Yeah. No Vader damage. No Vader. Now it's Vader, so you have to do damage or, or his main kit considering if he's gonna do Vader or not. Maybe. Just looking over to. He so attacks with no mods. My boy Will is on, on stream right now for FFG. So just taking a look at how that's going. He's playing against... Looks like he's down three ships right now. He's against Lucas. Lucas, yes. We Poland. had him on stream earlier today. Or earlier yesterday. Uh, an impeccable player. All right, here we go. First attack, range one. Reroll because of no tokens. There it is. That's a proton torpedo. Spends oh. evade. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be into Vermeil. two and a crit getting in. That's shield, hit, crit. The crit is damage sensor array. No actions except ones on damage cards. Into Here's the red line. Yes. No. That was red line into Vermeil. But Mankit just took damage. Yeah. Into Vermeil. Oh right, God, sorry, Dion. It's okay. It's it's been it's been long. It's been a long day. All right, so they were checking to see they're checking to see if Captain Jonas has Arc on Vermeil. It is very close. And it range look, one looks like it's in range one. Three dice coming from Jonas. I want to remind you that the re-roll for Death Rain came from Captain Jonas, mm -hmm. not from the target lock. So that car Correct. target lock's going to be sticking there. We go three dice. Has a focus. Shaking uh, him I up. I rescind my previous comment. He may lose for mill. That was three hits. He's probably going to spend the focus doing it. Boom. Takes three. Down to one hull. So he's long, he's given up half there. And now Mankit's time to respond. That puts Chris is ahead now, 68 to 61. It's spending the focus. Or sorry, so it's spending the force maybe? There's only one change. Yeah. Panic pipe. Oh, double stress under the scimitar. Ah! That's half points there. And that scimitar ain't ever going to do anything again. Nope. I've been there. Lots of stress on a little bomber. Yeah. Little, little sad bomber. His job is to just kind of stay alive. You try to you try to get rid of the stress mm -hmm. and get some unmodded shots and hope that it does something. You never know, right? Back, the earlier back to Dials, I mean, that 5K got slapped down real fast. It might be a 3K. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Boom. Not wasted time. We know what's happening. You know. I know. Let's go. Chris, um, Chris smells the blood in the water. He's after He's after man kit. That's right. Um, By the way, we're three subs away from doing a 10-card card set giveaway. Remember to hit that Twitch Prime button. You can do it every 30 days. If you've done it in the past, don't forget to hit it again. Resubs count. Also... Any of our new patrons that sign up, we're gonna, you're going to be entered in a raffle for a T65 damage deck. Looks like we had a couple people pledge 
Thank you so much to Matt Gonclavis, Ryan Anderson, and Curtis Plunk. So we got a three-person raffle going for that damage deck. And I do have an extra one of those that's going to be uh, raffled to our entire list of patrons as, as well as something absolutely fantastic that's coming. You have another damage deck? I do. Oh, my God. Yeah. Where do you keep all these prizes, Dion? And, uh, on my, sh I have like a shelf of stuff. Well, so it's see. like it's like my X-wing. I was just you got really baggy sleeves. They just keep coming out. <laughs> I'm a magician. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we still we've got the bomber down, so we've got Chris's. All of his ships look like they've he's, you know decisions have been made, and we've got to see how old man Kit. I was really impressed how he how he's been maneuvering his bombers, keeping them together, and. Um, Certainly, Mankit looks a little bit more on the ropes um, than he did earlier after the first engagement. Whisper's really got to get in now, do some damage, help uh, finish some of these wounded ships off. And uh, I'm really excited to see. All right, something kind of new we're trying out here. We're about halfway through the game. Advantage meter. Where do you guys think it is? All right, we'll, we'll let the exciting. We'll let the chat decide one if you think man kit is ahead here too if you think it's chris i know we can see what the points are but we also got to take a look at the positioning and uh, what are some of the possibilities and of course the dice get to speak as well mm -hmm. looks like we're uh jumping into the all the dials are down let's go boys oh people are thinking man kit maybe it's gonna swing back to chris we need two subs we're entering the system phase. We got a couple of, I think this person has the advantage, but I want this person to win. Mm. <laughs> I mean, uh, I want these. I want both of these players to win. Yeah. But I always say, Dion. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Both All right, these players Sosmic are charge. already winners. They are. I mean, they're in the top, they're in the top eight at the Coruscant Invitational. They had to win a system open to get here. That's right. They want a trial. They got top four. They climbed over a lot of people to get here. There's that decloak forward, that aggressive move from Whisper. She's got to get in. It's swinging back and forth between Chris and Mankit, although Chris is up to 60% now. Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and close that, that poll down. Looks like right now people think Chris has this one just barely. I see some interesting games out there in the crowd, Dion. I got Tyler Tippett versus Cam Murray in yep. the side events. There's uh, yep, that's the uh, side events going down on. in the in the salt mines. <laughs> uh, Nathan Idy playing uh, Duncan Howard looks exciting out there. People are having a good time here. That's right. We got lots of people who just they friggin' love X-wing. Yeah. As for our uh, top eight games, you have the the game happening on FFG Live. That's William Haywood versus Lucas. Looks like uh, William is probably going down for the count here. I think he has one ship or two ships left There's alive. There's a lot of munitions in that list. Yep. Lucas is one hell of a player. And this game in front of us seems to still be going on. Your boy still seems to be in it. I know he was pretty worried about it. He lost Paylob pretty early. Yep. And then we have uh, Francois Moray versus, versus Roger. Versus Roger going on. Looks like Francois, no ships off the table over there. We'll get updates as we uh, continue to go. All right. In the system phase, we did get a seismic charge onto another rock. So we may, we're going to be losing another rock in this game. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely brutal. The rocks have taken, so open, <laughs> taken as lost, much damage as the ships. <laughs> uh, the players now have, now have half, health, half health on the half uh, They've got the rocks to half health and have <laughs> half points on the rocks. <laughs> half points on the rocks. <laughs> Absolutely love that. Half points on the rocks. And uh, certainly Man Kit's got uh, Vermeil back over behind Whisper. Uh, and we'll have to see what, what Whisper does. They're reminding each other of their crits. Yep. That's great. Both It is both players' responsibility to keep a uh, So it looks like his, his action was flipping the damage sensor array. Yep. Here we have... Red line. This is Man Kit's red line. Bo looks like he's boosting. Fantastic. Yep, he's he's regrouping with his ships. His, his entire list. Both of heading these towards that top of the board. 
excellent flying, keeping their ships together, mm -hmm. supporting each other. There's the aggressive move for Whisper. Looks like she's probably going to get a shot. Excellent positioning. I was doubtful earlier that she could get in and do some damage. There she is in. There doing she, damage. She's in it. She's going to shoot number three. Nobody gets hit by that seismic charge. Chris does not get any of main kit's ships. And all the seismic charges are gone on Chris's side. But it makes maneuvering so much more easier for Whisper. She just don't care no more. Half the rock's gone. Red line running away. Main kit now. This is Whisper's shot. Are we shooting Scimitar? Are we shooting Jonas? We're Looks shooting like we're going at the Scimitar. You saw the lab was the last measurement. Yep. We did get a reload down here. Yep. It's not sure what he reloaded. We'll take a look at that in a second. Let's see how these attacks go. Your sub goal was reached. Dion, we're giving away prize. Did we do it? We did it. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Three dice. Spence for one. Two are coming in, and I think that's going to be it for that uh, Scimitar no, Bomber, I, if that he, was the target. I think he switched to the Punisher. Oh, he switched. They, he only rolled two of eight dice. Oh, okay. There you go. I don't know. Oh, we got a... Uh, yeah. What, uh, what got shot? Was it the Punisher that got shot? Oh, I was looking over there. Oh, oh no worries. No. <laughs> the one time we needed you. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. What, we could just once he moves his hand here, we could see. You see what's up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's shields and a card on Death Rain. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. We'll double check here. You know what, Dion? Yep. You know what we haven't had on stream? What? The gunboat. Oh, Not yet. Not yet. There was one here. There was. I had my chance. I thought. I, th I thought for sure you were gonna get one on while you had a choice. <laughs> Give us gumboats in the chat, boys. <laughs> Give us gumboats if you want something. Or resubbed. Or or just for fun. Hey. Gumboats are gumboats. Gumboats are gumboats. So he moves his hand and we have on Death Rain we have a damage card. You got it. Exciting. What are we waiting on? We're waiting on Whisper? Yep. Yeah. That's going to be a tough decision. We're waiting on Jonas. It's also going to be a tough decision. Um, I'm surprised we didn't get the 5K, but uh, it's just a one forward pooling around. Keeping his ships in position, always yeah, a good Red idea. Has the damage engine. What is it? Or I think it was damage engine. Excellent, 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 excellent. Yeah, Redline has damage engine. Redline has damage engine. Fun. That's a good one. I mean, depends on depends on what side you're on. <laughs> uh, it, it always adds an interesting, like, uh, <laughs> it's one of those crits where it affects your flying. It doesn't really punish you. Oh, we actually, we had it there already. Yeah, Damage we did. engine. Okay, we had it. <laughs> Dumpster fire red. Not during this store champ season. I didn't fly gunboats. You're right. I was not. No, it says you didn't like gunboats. Oh, I love, I love gunboats. He, you didn't like, uh, that's, you didn't I know exactly like, uh, who the QD or. I, I know, it's not. It's a lo that's one of my uh, lo local guys. They're ribbing oh, okay. me a little bit. Uh, there's this. this oh, group. they've been. My guys have been doing that all day. All right. uh, there's this group called the Dumpster Fire. All it's right. Like the dumpster, dumpster, dumpster Fire Squadron. Right. And they had this list called the Dumpster Fire Special. Right. And it was uh, two gunboats with Mangler cannons and a fully decked out quick draw. Okay. Okay. So, um, and. I faced, uh, specifically John is his name. I faced it, was it like three or four times, John? I know you're watching right now. And, like, the list I was bringing at the time, which, of course, I have deleted from my mind. I do not remember. Um, 
It was I, bad. Like, that was, like, my worst matchup, essentially. Mm-hmm. But, like, nobody else was playing that except for him. Right? I'm like, I'm like every other matchup is fine unless somebody brings this. Ah, oh, John's here. Crap. Well, hopefully we don't get mis- matched up. Ah, oh, crap. You get matched up. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking Whisper just three, needs to Three stay times on. he put in there. Go ahead. Whisper just needs to stay on target. Yep. Just needs to, and not the card, just needs to keep putting pressure on. You know, Mankit is up on points. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the free ruthlesses aren't really affecting anything in this match. No, it just seems like that that was the we brought it, we'll use it. Okay. I, I feel like there were options to use it that were skipped, but with the mm-hmm. the high damage output of both of these lists, you really want to preserve as much damage health, as possible. Yeah. And if you're going to kill something, I think we might see a ruthless come out. Like if it's if it's a yeah, chance to get like, something off the board. Hmm. But other than that, I'm not sure that they're going to. Um, use it um, these thick lists need to preserve their their hits and, and shields as the best they can and uh, they're taking some time thinking what they're going to do I'm sure main kit doesn't this mind is, this is a big turn how long Chris is taking both of them are uh, this is and I think this is what Chris is worried about you know um, Vermeil can get turned around pretty quick but with Redline and Vermeil both facing you know this direction over here you know, can he get Whisper? And of course, now Mankit does have and, the opportunity to. And Whisper's to over cloak. half. Yeah, she's still. She has one more, one more health, mm-hmm. and she's gonna get half points. So, Chris thinking, huh? I can get one, one damage mm-hmm. gets me half on that juicy target. That'll get him uh, thirty-one points. Yep. Because we round up now. Yep. So says the app. I. All the dials are down, guys. Yep. And we're in the system phase now. Yeah, very aggressive. There we go. Oof. Wait. He's got collision detector. He does. He doesn't care. It's time. Collision detector. Good play. Good play. So why don't we pull up the... Uh why don't we pull up the text for Collision Detector just so that we can read it for everybody. Yeah, so it says, while you boost or barrel roll, you can move through and overlap obstacles, period. Yeah. After you move through, and this is the sentence he's using it for, after you move through or overlap an obstacle, spend one charge to ignore its effects until the end of the round. So he's going to YOLO this rock because it literally does not matter yeah. for him. All right, red line turning in, hoping to catch himself some whisper. Unexpected turn of events, and this is exactly when you want to use collision detector. Late in the game, your opponent's forgotten about it. Yeah. It's just a, an upgrade card. They looked at it an hour ago. Yep. You've never used it. They've forgotten you had it. And especially that it's it's a card with an old name that has a completely new use. Right. right? So it, it's it's practically brand new. We yeah. have no, you know, it, you're not used to seeing it, and um, second edition is. You know, not even a month old. Yeah. So. And I'm sorry to say, PTL fans, Kelvin Lowe went down in the top eight to Zombie Squadron, to uh, Thomas Forrester. Thomas Forrester fans, Zombie Squadron fans, yep. you got us. Now, we had two Gold Squadron guys in the top eight, and Will still duking it out over there on stream. He refused, he refused to go down. He never concedes. How's the over-under? Will's scum in the top eight? Kelvin scum in the top eight, so that's two yeah, scum lists in the two. top eight. That what's the over under on the? I don't have scum? those memorized. I, I type them in, let, and then let, you forget, and then I forget. I don't have very much space up here, Devin. That's a secret. That's the that's the Dio Morales secret. At least you have space. I've just got a calendar and everything just falls out. <laughs> of it. <laughs> I have to in, instant just delete to keep space for other things. All right, we're just clearing up some damage cards here. Yeah. So red line has taken. Four total damage. They start with six hole or seven hole? They start with hole? six. Th- yeah, they have nine. They're chunk. Okay, so Three actually, so red line's actually at two hole then. Ooh. So on, on man kit side. On man kit side on the left. Uh, Vermeil, one, two, three, four, five. They have six hole, correct? Yeah. So that's correct. And, um, Chris is right above a, one of these lights. Not our lights, but the... Here we're seeing, there's a good example of the, the 2.0 barrel roll, medium space barrel roll. Yep. 
So you end right there. Yep. That's perfect. Or you can match in the middle, or you can yep. do the lines. Yeah. It yep. just looks so weird. Yeah, because you end up overlapping the, the yeah. template just a little bit in the back or the front, depending on which way you go. But you're matching a line. You're using all the middle line, essentially. All right, so... The way Captain. these guys are going, we could probably only get one more round. There we go. Probably a turnaround maneuver here from Vermeil. Is this the sloop? There it is. William has officially conceded. His match. I just said he never concedes, and then he goes and concedes. He made me a liar. He made me a liar. <laughs> uh, my, might I point out to uh, to my friends, the crates, uh, there were two gold squadron guys in the top eight mm -hmm. and zero crates. And, uh, a PTL. and one PTL guy. Yeah. So I think our just, PTL guys went over a couple of those crates on the way to the top. There you go. I know Tim took some down. Uh... Kelvin went over Chambly. Yep. And, you know, they might try to argue that this tournament doesn't count, but because we got confirmation here that all the tournaments we're gonna, are going to have some type of list-building yeah. restriction, this 100% counts. So this, this this tournament's all about list-building, how you build yep. your lists? Oh, here we go. We went, went over the rock. Yeah. Has he evade they all from showed decloaking? All, they all showed up the same list? None of them in the top eight. That's, tr that's true. They all just show up with the top. They, they thought they had the Paul best. Paul Heaver. Chris Allen, all of them showed up at the same list. Yeah, we can officially tell the crates to get good, essentially, is what I'm telling them. Correct. Get good at list building crates. That's right. I should have said that as the over number. Oh, over, <laughs> over, 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 under. How many yeah. crates in the top eight? Yeah, zero. Set the number at 0. 0.5. Go under. <laughs> all love. Those are my buddies. All righty. So getting a barrel roll here from Whisper. Can she get out of the arc? I think that's the attempt he's trying to do. I'm very and excited. You, you saw him shake his head no. I said, that's not going to happen. It'll give him some uh, good positioning next turn with the decloak, though. Uh, I think you should have just focused and killed uh, two. Here we go. Range one. Whips. Uh. One dice only. Got it. Wow. No damage. Wow. All right. This is Chris's chance to get half points. No damage. Gosh. Solid burn in the chat. Crates are only 1.0 good. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Crash and burn. Juke is so good. Yeah, Juke is very good. Now, they may have forgotten Juke here, but ah, that's a missed opportunity. Missed opportunity, yep. All right, and we're back to dials. Uh, that was you know, Chris had a chance there to get... Because um, red line, whisper. red line did not take a damage there. Did not take a fifth nope. card. Yeah. But now that uh, because Death Rain whiffed on that attack, you've kind of given free reign to Whisper now, though, right? You have all this open space, all that open space. You have space. They killed all the rocks. Yeah, because they blew up all the rocks. You have your opportunity to decloak this way, bring it around, and get offensive. Um, we don't know, let's see, how many bombs does he have left? Even though if he drops the bomb, He's it's going to... He's got one of each bomb left. It's going to end up... see it down here on the corner. Oh, sorry, I was looking on the wrong side. Oh, no, no, uh, no, we are looking at the wrong side. Yeah, okay. Over here. So that's going to be on this side. I think the, uh, the classic candy cane could be a good candidate here. I'm not sure if Whisper gets shot there. Looks Might like he's got... Both of the seismics are spent, but he does have one proton, proton. bomb. Yeah, and his damage cards are all shiny, so we can't... Oh, they're here. All, all piled up, so we can't really see how many there are. Mm -hmm. well, we'll see. we got six minutes left in the round. Ends at 2.15. Well, I'd say thank you again for everybody who's joining us. We did officially unlock our 10-set giveaway. We're going to be doing that. And then we're gonna spoil. We're gonna spoil what I'm doing for the final. For not the our, our final round that our we're gonna be round doing of the day. Um, is gonna be the top four. So whatever match FFG is not streaming, that's the one we'll take. You know what, Dion? 
If I never have to sit in this chair again, I yep. might be happy. <laughs> My back will be happy. That's right. I'm so stoked. Mm. Mankit has done an extremely good job of leveraging his 10-point advantage. People are asking what, uh, what list the, the crates were flying that they uh, whiffed with. That was a uh, Luke Skywalker, Sabine, uh, Janors, and one other Blount. ship. And Blount. There it goes. Where the only upgrades were Jin and Moldy Crow on uh, the Hawk, and on Luke, he had supernatural reflexes. Yep. I mean, many, it was a good, it was a good of, list. Many of them went 4 and 2. Yeah. Some of them made top 16. Mm -hmm. One of them made top 16. Yep, and none of them made top eight. There was a floor there, <laughs> a ceiling, a glass ceiling the crates cannot get past. It. Yeah. All righty. So um, right now, looking, let's look at some um, win opportunities here. On Chris's side, he needs to either get half points on Whisper or kill Vermeil. I think that's that's your your path to victory there, or. Kill, or, or, or red kill red line, right? But you can see how Mankit has, has maneuvered those ships up to the top of the board. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult for Chris to get up that quickly, especially with the pace that both players have kept throughout the game. They've moved at a similar pace. I think they were both evenly matched in that. And, uh, one not here. pushing the other. Okay, so Mankit moving the opposite direction that I thought he might go. All right. Decloaking to his left. And he still has another collision still detector. Still has another collision detector. That rock is essentially not there for now. Just being in the way. It's important to note that uh, Death Rain does have a target lock on Vermeil there. Mm -hmm. So uh, a proton torpedo could be coming his way, especially after the, uh, the reload earlier. Mm -hmm. So There's the two. one bank. That'll clear the stress. Mm -hmm. If you have a focus, you're going to have a... Focus target lock shot into Vermeil if Vermeil came down. But maybe maybe Man Kit called it and uh, went to the right. We'll find out. Luckily, he's a Reaper and can aileron boost to determine that if he just plugs he, in a straight maneuver. He can't. He's stressed. <gasps> he's stressed. You're right, Dion. I forgot. Your initiative token broke again. It did break again. It so was I, working there for a couple of yeah. games. <laughs> it it knows right. that it's the wrong one. I think that's what it is. Oh, the new one's really uh The really first funky. player, yeah. Mm -hmm. First player token. It's pretty. I like it, though. It's pretty. I saved them. I threw out a lot of cardboard. Boost. So no focus. He wants to make sure that he can catch Vermeil. Got that range three stick. Probably going to reach to, you know. About no linked actions. About right there. So he's got he's got a big arc there. We'll see if he can oh, still catch Vermeil. So we got a bump from Captain Jonas on uh, Whisper. This was a great move by uh, by Mankit getting Whisper in the way. I am super surprised that that Jonas has survived so long and has not taken much, if any, damage. Oh, there we go. Vermeil turned in to face his opponent one hull. Face me, you coward! Likely gonna die to a five or six hull death rain. But you know what though? He still gets to shoot. They're both initiative four. See it right there? He gets to return fire, maybe get himself some points. Death Rain is uh, close to half. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if that's enough, Dion. I mean, an enough and I mean, we still got. Oh, we do, we're at 130. Ah! So, yeah, exactly. It's okay. So he's got a Vader. Yep. He's got a Vader. Yes. That does one damage to Death Rain. That's half. Mm hmm. Okay. Then Death Rain. Because Death Rain didn't focus. He has no green tone tokens to, uh, to cancel it out. Correct. Oh, okay. Whisper turning to the right. I don't. Does he have arc right now? No. That's he can, out. He's going to barrel roll. He can barrel roll. But barrel rolling puts him in Jonas's arc. And he's only got those two dice. This is risky business. Unmodded on, on, on modded. Risky business. This is so close to own. These games are so good. This is going to be great. That's what I love about the Swiss system here that we use at uh, FFG tournaments mm -hmm. is that it makes the games better. Yeah. You are, you, each game gets closer. Time in the round. 
That's time. It's been we officially were, called. We were 30 seconds uh, ahead. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right. We're, we're about to get it. He's getting a damage update before he any, chooses. Any action from, from Whisper? Yeah. Well, she can, if she barrel rolls, she still, she does have that collision detector. You can proc it, right? And be able to shoot off the rock because you ignore all of its effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, but he has to do it when he activates. Oh, it's too late. They're checking points. We're at the That's end of the idea. game. We're at the yeah. end of the game. It doesn't really matter. These, deci the these decisions are what matter. They, yeah. Cute baby on the phone, by the way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Man kit. Doing math. They could just come ask us, you know. <laughs> we do have it. I mean, you have to have the confidence that Vermeil is going to get to half. I think he can half, or that Vermeil is going to get the Punisher to half. Vermeil, I think, can do that with Vader. You spend the Force Point, you guarantee the damage. I don't know how he got to 100. Yeah. Yeah, I don't consider the calculator to be uh, rules, uh, what you call it? That's not note-taking. Not note-taking. You're just doing math. Yeah. You're not copying somebody's like opening strategy in your little notebook, being <laughs> like, "Oh, here's a three four. He's barrel rolling. And then a two four. Oh, he's, he's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, he's well, he's barrel rolling away. So he he thought he was an arc already. Mm. Yeah. I thought it was an arc already. All right. This is this attack determines the game. This, well, this is, is it right here. I think this is Vader. 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 Boom. Tap tap. Give me that. One damage on the death rain. Clickety click. Hundred and nine points. Chris is going to kill Vermeil. He's going to try to kill Vermeil. Uh, Whisper, no shot at five. Chris, I believe, has a first player. Or All right, so this is... Red line in prime. Did he shoot at red line or Vermeil? Maybe we have the target lock understanding incorrect. We might. I, it was evaded either way. One damage, Vermeil's ability. He does another damage. Death Rain goes to three. Death Rain just took a damage. Range two, no damage. From the, and that's it. Good game. Maybe he, he was out of, the, out of the torpedoes. Yeah, but you you would still shoot for meal at range two, would you not? Someone haul. I can see thirty points. Well, good game on both sides. Uh, Man kit wins one hundred nine to sixty eight. Let's go ahead and uh, I got to update my. My, uh, Chad is saying fancy. you should go both, but that, that's probably fair. Yep. All right, so we're going to do some giveaways, huh? Well, i got to do a bio break. All right, go, go for it. Go for it. Give me one second, guys. We're going to give away those 10 set of cards here in a minute. I'm just updating our, uh, our post-production overlays. In real time, this is both Imperial versus Imperial. All right, if you guys want to activate your name for the giveaways, go ahead, toss them, uh, something in the chat, preferably gumboats. That's my preference. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get it going here in a minute. So that was a Phantom, a Reaper, and a Punisher. Oh, there they go. There you go. Engines engaged. Engines engaged.
All right, let's do this. Here we go. We're going to go to the booth view. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Let's do this. We got 800 people total watching across both YouTube and uh, Twitch. This is fantastic. We got one more game for you guys, and we're giving away something huge. Uh, oh, by the way, all of our Twitch mods, I'm sorry I forgot to mention this, all of our mods, you guys are getting all the stuff already. Make sure you guys just send me your address uh, just as a reminder. That way I can get that out there. You guys are absolutely, you guys work so hard for me. Thank you so much. Make sure you uh, send that my way. Let's give away some stuff. Give away some stuff. Here we go. Are you guys ready? Let's roll it. One out of ten. Let's make this happen. I need another, another page in my notebook. All this stuff we're giving away. All right, here we go. First set. Make sure get yourself activated. Get yourself activated. Looks like right now we have 103 eligible people. Born ready. All right, let's make this happen. 105. Boom. First card set going to V I underscore edit. Congratulations. Five card set. If you hadn't seen the cards, let me go ahead and grab them. Right here. One, two, three, four, five. We got IG88 B and C. This is all second edition, guys. IG88 B and C updated. This is cartoon art by Jack Dency. And then Bartok Federic doing these beautiful alt arts for us. We got Nora Wexley, Fenrau, and Lorik. And VI Edit is getting the first set. Let's go ahead. Boom. What do you have to do to activate? Just put it in the chat. If you are a subscriber and you're in the chat, you're, you're all set, ready to go. Next one. Boom. The Real Fun Bobby. I, I love The Real Fun Bobby. He is one of the funnest people I know. Remember, guys, to claim your prize, make sure you send me a PM uh, through Twitch or through the Gold Squadron Podcast Facebook page. I'll get to you guys this week. Uh, make sure you include your address on there. That way I can just send you that message that says shipped. All right, here we go. Number two. Boom. Oh, sorry, number, this is number three. Dreaded Spectre 1. Fantastic. Get that. Somebody's giving me a call. I am working right now. Thank you. And set number four. Here we go. Aras 88. Congratulations. <laughs> Jim Joe Bob 1980, congrats, Jim Joe Bob. We're halfway through, guys, halfway through. 1980, if you still want a chance, make sure you sub now. Here we go. Boom. Nerve, nervous Sam. Don't be nervous, Sam. Nervous Sam. One, two, three, four, five, six, four more. Next one is Alchemy. Congratulations. Let's do it again. New guy. Hey, welcome, new guy. Not so new anymore. Boom, boom. Eight, nine, ten. All right, we got two more, two more. Robot Hesh, congratulations. And last but not least, A Kempers 21, two time winner. I think he won, won a set yesterday, which is fantastic. Hey, guys, this is, uh, this is Zach, Zach Bart of Hangar 19. If you're local Midwest or want to take a, take a flight, uh, Crossroads Classic happening next weekend. Gold Squadron Podcast will be there streaming. Woo! Awesome. Yeah, awesome art, art, all kinds of stuff. All right, and now we're giving, a, we're raffling off the damage deck to patrons. Okay, boom. Let's take a look to see everybody. Fantastic. We got. Uh, thank you to Space Samurai, Jeffrey Pickles, Bobby Ott, Curtis Plunk. All right, one, two, three. Curtis Plunk four. Uh, Ryan Anderson five, and Matt uh, Gun Club is five patrons who signed up. So here we go. You got five, five different people this could be. Let's go ahead, go to our, our giveaway site here. Where did you go? Where did you go? Giveaways. 
All right, I'm looking for a random number, TwitchBot, between one and five, okay? Between one and five, because we had five uh, patrons, and what we're gonna do, okay? Give me a second. Okay, oops. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do it in order in which they signed up. So we got... Give it away. Oh, woo, Matt. Uh, thank you so much, William. We're, we're giving away a Jabba. Okay, so uh, we got one, two, three, four, five. We're going to random number generate here. Uh, I think I actually clicked the wrong button, so I see... Three shall be the number. All right. Eight, four, five. All right, let's see what the number is. One through five, one through five. Let's see, what's the number going to be? What do you guys think? Whoops, whoops, sorry. That's incorrect. Sorry, bad AK. Uh, I must have used this tool incorrectly. But you know what, Bad AK, we're going to send you uh, a set of cards since I messed that up. Sorry about that. Send me uh, Bad AK. All right, random number generator for patrons. We'll just do it old school. Um, that will be the best way. We'll go to Google. Random number Random, not name. We need name. We need a random number generator. There we go. Picking a number one through five. Generate, 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 generate. Let's look at it again. Where are our names? Again, uh, going in order, Matt uh, Gunclavis, as he was the first one to sign up, is going to be number one. Space Samurai, you're number five. I'm clicking, I'm clicking, and the answer is number one. Matt Gunclavis, you have won yourself. Oh, where do they go? There it is. This, thank you so much for becoming a, uh, a patron. You are fantastic. Uh, make sure you shoot me a message through Patreon. Uh, that way we can get you this stuff. All righty. Make sure we can get you this stuff, and uh, we'll get that shipped out. Actually, wait. Your patron. I have your address. Let me just write this down. Uh, damage deck. I'd love the reminder, though. So... This next round, what we're going to be giving away, this is going to be a Patreon exclusive item. We got two items for you guys. Uh, Twitch will show you guys yours here in a minute. But the Patreon exclusive item, so anybody who, who has been become a patron ever, okay? So you want to be a chance, uh, if you want a chance for this uh, specific item, this is our big item, uh, you have to be a patron. And that is that I was able to get my hands on this official Coruscant Invitational template tray and we're giving this away to one of our patrons this is super exciting exclusive to uh coruscant invitees and this was uh this is um will uh hagwood he said hey man let's let's give this away you know he he uh we paid for the uh the vip package uh for the podcast said let's let's make sure that we could get this into a hand of a patron and uh super excited to give this away so uh that's coming now for our Twitch Prime people, our subscribers, don't worry, I'm not leaving you hanging, okay? I have here, okay, two things that we're going to be giving out uh, with subscribers, okay? We have a second edition Scum Damage deck. So this is the ones that they're also giving away here at, um, at Coruscant. There you go, you see the Scum logo across the top. That distressed look, we're giving that away. And uh, Will just handed me the Jabba card, a Jabba official alt art here. We're giving that away as well to a Twitch Prime subscriber. So let's let's go through that again. Bam, Patreon. Okay. Bam, Twitch. And we'll be back.